This wall was obviously solid. It was a garage. Yes. The original owners had converted it into a room, but nothing more than that. So this wall was still there. Mm -hmm. And you had you walked into your a living room, mm -hmm. a dining room, and then around the corner to mm -hmm. a your kitchen, which was tucked back into the right-hand corner and of the house. And you had two, so there were two entrances to the house, actually. And I can show you where that other entrance was, was in here. So the kitchen, as you maybe can imagine, was this whole entire side of the house and there was a door actually in this wall that was the other entrance into the house so we had two entrances this wall was closed and you had a kitchen down the whole this whole entire side not a very beautiful kitchen to say the least you had some nice what are they even called the little those tiles linoleum linoleum tiles, tiles. they were like cemented to the floor and so it's a very long galley kitchen we kind of walked in and we felt like it was wasted space. I wanted more of an open concept kitchen like my mom has. And so that kind of started our brains working like, okay, could we move the kitchen? Could we convert some areas? And that's kind of what we ended up doing. So this, we opened up this wall and that was the first big step into making the downstairs of the house into more of a complete living space. So we opened up this wall and First, obviously, put a window in over here. We don't need an extra entrance over here. And decided to put a dining room in here. And we did not have a bathroom on our first floor. And that was one thing I did want. You don't want guests having to go upstairs into your own bathroom. And so we had to kind of think through what rooms are not down on this first floor? What do we need? What do we want? And kind of came up with this So we took this... Idea existing long kitchen and created a dining room then we have a powder room here and then on the other side of this wall is now a laundry room because we've learned uh, not you don't want laundry in your basement mm -hmm. um, and so we brought the laundry room upstairs from the basement into a living space in the back which yeah. has a fun little floor story about mm -hmm. from yeah. your grandfather back there. yeah so we put up some walls and and <clears throat> I think there's there's definitely a few pictures that you're going to be able to see of dad and I framing this wall and putting up the drywall and all of the in-betweens. Well, one of the things you uncover with one of the things you uncover with these old houses is as you start opening floors and opening walls, you end up with cast iron pipes. Mm -hmm. And so you end up with a lots of stuff that needs to be removed and needs mm -hmm. to be replaced. And so the process of once you started opening up this floor here, uh, and tying into the existing drains, and that was a very, um, uh, co very uh, you know, complex <laughs> situation that took yeah. a lot of time and effort in order to get it to what it looks like today. Did I you... want you to live into a house that's the wiring is good, Safe. the plumbing is good, and you've got smoke detectors, everything that mm -hmm. you can live in an old house, but up to local codes. Yeah, and we had to redo every wire in the house, correct? Mm -hmm. As Ruth has shared many a times with her and I flipping homes that when she had her list of demands uh, that were multiple, yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, list of wants uh, that were three or four pages long and mine were three or four lines long. Um, it's learning real early in a marriage that if it's not that important to me, I'll make sure that it, the decision is hers. And Chris has learned well through that process mm -hmm. of if he has a few inputs, mm -hmm. uh, but ultimately, it's what you yeah. and or your mother well, would love. <laughs> I was just about to say that I cannot be given the credit for most of the actual paint colors and furniture designs and everything in this house. I have to give credit to my mother. I can do the construction, but I don't necessarily have the best sense of what's going to look good, what's going to make room look bigger, what's going to make it feel more homey, what's going to make it feel a little bit... Um, nicer like a dining room can be and so i would say that chris and i went into this with a few things that we did want and but honestly chris didn't really have an opinion he was like i'm just here to help and i know it's gonna look beautiful i've seen what mom and dad have done so let's he was just along for the ride and that's kind of how this house went and i was kind of along the ride too with uh, all the designs so You'll be able to see how my mother's house, you can see little touches all over my house because <laughs> she had a lot of touches in this one too. All right, this was one of my, and I will take credit for this one, 
my mother likes to take credit, but I really wanted to put the kitchen in here and we knew that the pipes were running underneath this floor, so it was something that was still attainable. And I mean, as you can see, it is quite beautiful. It is exactly what I would want. And I mean, my dad and I spent, what, a few evenings. We built the cabinets. We had to saw back the backs of some of them to fit these very unlevel walls and very unlevel floors. And um, I mean, a lot of hard work went into this kitchen, but this used to be the dining room. And so we had a nice pink, this was pink carpet in here from wall to wall and had these beautiful hardwood floors under. And I mean, now you can see what we were able to do with a dreary old dining room. And now it's the, the kitchen of a chef, <laughs> which I need to learn to be. <laughs> and I mean, yeah, dad, do you have anything? And what you, what you learned through this is, and what you learned firsthand is old homes, there's nothing perfect about the walls. And so putting in something that is a square box or something that's made for a newer home mm -hmm. always has to be modified to some extent to fit. Mm -hmm. The final product, it makes it look like it's all factory right out of the box, Yeah. but needs a lot of modifications in order for it to work. So um, she learned that through this home because she was young when we tried to do our other houses, but mm -hmm. it's amazing. Yeah, she put in the hard work, but when it's done, mm -hmm. It looks like it's always been here. Yeah. yeah. All right, so one tip that I do have for first time home buyers, for people that are young and really don't know what to do with the kitchen if they're redoing it, is I recommend just keeping it very simple. As you can see, I have black countertops, I have white cabinets, and it just makes it easier for you to personalize on your own, but for you also to still have that resale value. If you do eventually want to sell it down the road, it will hold its classic look and still just be able to be personalized for other people like as you can see yes i said black countertops white cabinets but we have the pops of yellow from things like lemons or this painting that my in-laws actually gave chris and i for our first anniversary i think or might have been our wedding gift our wedding gift it's actually jackson hole you can see the mountains in the back and that's where we got engaged it's just things like the little pops of yellow in our kitchen that can really make it your own and personal and things like the rugs that we got at the consignment store that can just make it feel homey but also allow you to have things that are removable for the next people to come in and make this house their home too. So you can see this absolutely beautiful brick floor that's in here that we actually use to be the flooring for our laundry room and this was actually a really special thing that is near and dear to our hearts is my grandfather, his wedding gift to us was these bricks or were these bricks. And so we, he gave us these bricks and we used them to make our laundry room floor and really just make it into a easy, clean area. We now have a puppy. So for him to have accidents and it not be a problem and for laundry to be done in there. And so 